Welcome back to Geometry Classroom. Today we'll uh, talk about um, Triangle Inequality Theorem. By the end of the, this lesson, we should be able to recognize and apply relationships between sides and angles in a triangle, yes? And apply the Triangle Inequality uh, Theorem to find a missing side or decide if a certain combination of uh, uh, sides lengths could form or not uh, a triangle. Good. So, what does this uh, triangle inequality theorem state? So, it uh, states if the sum of the length of any two sides of a triangle is uh, greater than the length of the third side, yes, we can have a triangle, yes? Now, for example, in this triangle, if A, B, and C are the length, length of the sides, we should have this set of inequalities. In other words, the sum of the length of any two sides must be greater than the length of the third side. Yes? So, A plus B, yeah? A plus B must be larger than C. A plus C must be larger than B. And B plus C must be larger than A. Now, in order to have a triangle, all of these three inequalities must be true. If at least one of these is not true, there is no triangle. Yes? Good. Let's um, uh, have uh, an example. In this example, we have this triangle whose sides are 5, 9, and x. In this example, we have to decide what would be the value or the values, possible values for x in order to have a triangle. Now, to decide what possible values could be for x, we have to use the triangle inequality theorem. As we know, in order to have a triangle, the sum of any two, the, link, the sum of length of any two sides must be greater than the length of the third one. Yeah? And we have three such inequalities. Good. So let me uh, rewrite for you each uh, inequality, a plus b larger than B plus C larger than A, and A plus C larger than B. Good. Now, we have to uh, decide or label with A, B, and C these sides. Let's say A equals 5, B equals 9, and C equals X, right? Now, we plug in it. So, you're gonna have this uh, set of uh, sets of uh, inequalities. First, a plus b, so five plus nine larger than c, which is x. Then b plus c, x plus nine larger than five. And the last one, a is 5 plus x is larger than 9. Good. So, we have to solve each of these inequalities. Remember how to solve uh, these inequalities? It's simple. So, we have to solve for it here. Uh, on the left side, you simply add 5 and 9. Yeah? So, you're going to get 14 is larger than x. 
or if you like, if, if you uh, want to start with x, we put x first, but you have to reverse the sign of inequality, yeah? So instead of larger, you're gonna have less than 40. And then we solve the second one. To, to solve for uh, uh, x, the second inequality, you get rid of nine by subtracting nine on both sides. So you're gonna have x plus nine, uh, larger than 5, so you're going to have minus 9, minus 9, so you're going to get x is larger than, because these two cancel out, negative 4. So, another uh, uh, solution would be x is larger than negative 4. And the last one, if we solve uh, for x the third inequality, we get 5 plus x is larger than 9, so we get rid of 5 by subtracting 5 on both sides, so 5 and negative 5 cancel out, you're going to have x is larger than 9 minus 5 is 4, so x must be larger than 4. Now, uh, next we have to put these uh, conditions together. Now, as we can see, for sure, x must be larger than, uh, less than 14, yeah? So we put here x less than 14. Now, if you look at the second condition, right, we don't uh, have to take in consideration why. Because the length of a side cannot be a negative number, right? So we disregard this condition, but we look at the next one. So x must be larger than 4. So we have a range, uh, a set of values for x for which we may have a triangle. So x must be larger than 4. So that's the solution, right? In other words, for any value of x between 4 and 14, we can have a triangle. If x is outside this range, for example, if it's, uh, l let's say, uh, l less than 4, or larger than 14, we cannot have a triangle. Good. Uh, next. have another theorem that uh, states if one side of a triangle is longer than another side of the same triangle, then the angle opposite to the longer side has a greater me measure than the angle opposite to the shorter side. Yes? Now, if you look at this triangle, right? So uh, the 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 side, the angle, or the angle that is opposite to the longest or the longest side is larger than the angle that is opposite to a shorter side. Yes. For example, if side A let's say A, yes, is uh, longer than side B, right, then angle A, right, angle A is larger than angle B. Yes. We'll uh, have a few uh, examples. 
Good. Uh, for example, in this example, we have the given site, 5, 3, and 7. Now, as we can see, the longest side in this triangle is 7, right? And the, the angle that is opposite or is across 7 is C, right? Because C is opposite or face to face to 7, right? They are face to face. Angle C would be the largest angle in this triangle. Yes? So, let us arrange the angles, right, in their decreasing order, right? Decreasing. Which means we start with the largest one and you end up with the smallest one. Because AB is the longest side, angle C would be the, large, uh, the uh, largest one, yeah? So, angle C. Then, what would be the next angle in decreasing order to find what is the next one, you look again at the uh, length of the sides. Which one is next? What side has a length and, uh, th that is next to seven in decreasing order? It's five. Now, we look at the angle that is opposite to this side. The angle that is opposite to this uh, side is B, yeah? Because B is across or face to face to this side. So this angle is next in decreasing order, angle B. And of course, the last one is angle A, yeah? That is uh, let's say increasing order, right? From least to largest or from the largest to the smallest one. Good. Now, in the next example, uh, angles are given and we have to arrange, yes, let's say the side based on the measure of the angles. We know all the time the side that is opposite to the largest angle is the longest side. Now, if you look at this triangle, uh, angle C is the largest angle, right? So, the side that is opposite to this angle, which is AB, is the longest one. So that is the longest side. Now, which one is uh, next uh, in a, a length is this one, because is this one, yeah? This is the next one, the next uh, side. Uh, why? Because the next angle in decreasing order is 50. And the side that is opposite or face to face to 50 is this side. Yes? And of course the last one is the shortest side. Good. Let's uh, have uh, another uh, example. In this example, we uh, want to know which side uh, of this triangle is the longest one. But we cannot decide which one is the longest side until we get the measure of angle X. 
we have we need the measure of angle x how we find the measure of angle x by applying the triangle angle sum theorem that states the sum of interior angles of a triangle equals 180. In other words, we have to write an equation in which we add these three angles and solve for x. So you're going to have 80 plus 40 plus x equals 180. We solve for x by first by simplifying the left side. We add 80 and 40 and we get 130 plus x equals 180. Now, if we solve for x, we'll get x equals 60. So we found x, the measure of angle B, which is, let's say, 60 degrees. Yeah? Now, we should be able to find now the longest side. Remember, the longest side in a triangle is opposite or is across the uh, lo uh, let's say the largest uh, angle. Now, question, what is the largest angle? The largest angle, of course, is 80. Yeah? 80 is the largest one. Now, the side that is across 8, 80 degrees or face to face to 80 is this side. So, we can conclude BC, side BC, is the longest one. Yes? Good. Another uh, useful uh, uh, information regarding uh, triangles is uh, related to exterior angle of a triangle. Uh, remember, we uh, uh, learned about exterior angle of a triangle. Yeah? is an angle that is formed by a side of a triangle and extension of another side. So, in this case, angle uh, 4 is an exterior angle. We know the measure of an exterior angle is the sum of the remote interior angles uh, that are 1 and 2, right? So we say measure of angle 4 would be uh, equal measure of angle 1 plus measure of angle 2. And it's obvious the statement of this theorem, yeah? So if an angle is an exterior angle, in this case angle 4, then its measure is greater than the measure of either of its corresponding remote interior angles. And it's obvious, because measure of angle 4 is the sum of the remote interior angles. For sure, measure of angle 4 would be larger than either of this one, of these uh, remote interior angles. Good. So, now let's have a few examples with triangle inequality theorem. Now, in this example, these two examples, we have to determine if the side's length could form a triangle, right? Uh, and to decide if these three uh, numbers could form a triangle, we have to use the triangle inequality theorem. Yeah? So we have A, B, C, right? So we know A, A plus B larger than C, B plus C larger than A, C plus A larger than B. So we have 16 plus 21 larger than 39. Uh, 21 plus 39 larger than 16. Uh, 39 uh, plus 16 uh, is larger than 21. So we have to check if all of these inequalities are true. Look, 16 plus 
16 plus 21 equals 38. It's not larger than 39. So this inequality is not true. So conclusion, these numbers cannot form a triangle. Good. Look at the, uh, the next one. Again, this is A, this is B, this is C. We apply, we plug it in here, right? So we have 34 plus 27 is larger than 58. I think it's, it's uh, larger, right? Now, uh, 34 plus 58 is larger than 27. It's obvious, yes. Uh, 27 plus 58 is larger than 34, yes. We say yes, yes, yes. So these numbers could form uh, a triangle. Here, no, that's why it's impossible. Now, given two sides of a triangle, find the range of possible length for the third side. Now, uh, we have these two uh, numbers given, and we have to find the third one in order to have a triangle. Yeah? So this is A. This is B, this is C. Again, we use these inequalities. So you're going to have uh, 9 plus 32 uh, larger than C. Another one is uh, 9 plus X larger than 32. And uh, uh, 32 plus X larger than uh, 9. Good. So uh, if you solve for... Uh, uh, here I instead of C is X, yeah? So, uh, we're gonna have X is less than 41. Here, if we solve for X, you're gonna have X larger than uh, negative 23. And here, X is larger than, uh, no, here is uh, larger than 23. And here, uh, it's negative uh, 23. Good. So this uh, one is uh, with this regard. So we have x must be less than 41, but larger than 23. So that's the range for the third side. Any number in this range could be uh, a side of the triangle. That is all we have for today. Uh, we'll uh, uh, have uh, next time a new lesson regarding uh, triangles. Thank you for watching my video.